Meanwhile, the Indian Space Research Organization is aiming to establish itself as a key player in space exploration. It has set its sights on multiple missions. According to ISRO Chief S. Somnath, there is an ambitious roadmap for ISRO, including plans for Chandrayaan-4 and the Bharatiya Antariksh Station or the Indian Space Station. Well, the Chandrayaan-4 mission is slated to retrieve samples from the moon. ISRO Chief Somnath has emphasized on the complexity of this mission, stating that it demands advanced technology surpassing previous missions. The development of technologies like a robotic arm for sample collection, mechanisms for docking in lunar and Earth orbits and safe re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere will be pivotal. This will also be demonstrated by the Gaganyaan mission that will send astronauts to low Earth orbits and bring them back to Earth. Meanwhile, the first module of the Bharatiya Antariksh station India's planned space station that will be capable of conducting experiments with the help of robots will be launched by 2028. Somnath said, and I quote him here, while these missions may seem far off, an experiment crucial for sustained human space flight will be launched in the next three to four months. End of quote. Now, ISRO's vision extends beyond individual missions. The agency is actively developing technologies such as inflatable habitat modules for astronauts' prolonged presence in space. Additionally, plans include satellite refueling capabilities and the ISRO receiver module for satellite maintenance and replacement. ISRO is also eyeing collaborations with NASA and the European Space Agency. Talks are underway to establish a common interface between the Indian Space Station and those of other countries. Now, this collaborative effort can potentially allow ISRO's module to dock with the International Space Station and foster joint ventures in space exploration. The module got separated, and the lander Vikram module performed to move the orbit.